3rd August. Welcome to today's audio devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, The Miracle of Mercy, Part 3, Micah 7-18-19. Who is a God like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity, and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever, because he delighteth in mercy. He will turn again, he will have compassion upon us, he will subdue our iniquities, and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. God wanted to show mercy to the people of Nineveh, and he sent Jonah to deliver his message of repentance and salvation. Jonah's initial reluctance and subsequent journey illustrate that God's plans are unstoppable, and his mercy is boundless. Similarly, there is a miracle of mercy on its way to you. God is ready to cross his hands in your favor, just as he did with Ephraim and Manasseh, bestowing blessings in unexpected ways, Genesis 48.1. To access this miracle, we must ascend to the mountain called mercy. The world is filled with wickedness and cruelty, Therefore, adding to its mercilessness is not an option for believers. Our God delights in mercy, Micah 7.18, and it is through showing mercy that we ourselves obtain it, Matthew 5.7. Every aspect of our lives, ministry, business, education, marriage, must be built on the pedestal of mercy. The deal is clear. He who can pray for another cannot entertain enmity. Jav's story is a powerful testament to the miracle of mercy. Jav 42, 1-17 details the restoration of Job's fortunes. After enduring immense suffering and loss, Job interceded for his friends who had wronged him. This act of mercy unlocked his own restoration, doubling his previous blessings. Job's story reminds us that the miracle of mercy heals broken hearts and restores families. God is ready to turn away your captivity, but he asks that you show mercy first. Romans 9, 15-16 underscores God's sovereignty in dispensing mercy. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God that showeth mercy. This passage highlights that God's favor and mercy are not based on human effort, but on his divine will. In Exodus 34, 5-7, God reveals his nature to Moses, declaring, the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin. This declaration emphasizes God's merciful character and his willingness to forgive and restore. 2 Corinthians 12:8 recounts Paul's plea to God to remove his thorn in the flesh. God's response, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness, teaches us that God's grace and mercy are sufficient to sustain us through any trial. In John 9, 2, 3, Jesus addresses the disciples' question about a man born blind. He explains that the man's condition was not due to sin, but so the works of God should be made manifest in him. This account demonstrates that sometimes our trials serve a higher purpose in revealing God's glory. Job 13, 2-4 reveals Job's frustration with his friend's lack of compassion I am not inferior to you. Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire to reason with God. 
but ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. Despite their harsh judgments, Job remained steadfast in seeking God's truth. The Bible promises that if we obey and serve Him, we shall spend our days in prosperity and our years in pleasantness and joy. Job 36.11 This is the reward for living a life rooted in mercy and obedience to God. Therefore ascend to the mountain of mercy and embrace the miracle God has prepared for you. Show mercy in all your dealings, pray for others, and let go of enmity. In doing so, you align yourself with God's heart and unlock His boundless blessings. Remember, the world is filled with cruelty. Let us not contribute to it, but counteract it with the mercy that reflects our Heavenly Father. As you show mercy, expect God's power to manifest in your life, bringing restoration, healing, and unprecedented blessings. Today's prayer, Lord, I ask for your forgiveness for the times I have strayed from your path. Help me to always remember to repent and turn back to you, just as Job did. Teach me to trust in your sovereignty, even when I face trials and tribulations. Let me find hope and strength in the knowledge that you are always with me, guiding me through every challenge. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Caris and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.